everybody. It's Miss Amy from the Rifle Branch Library, and I am here today to read you another story for our story time at home. And the book that I chose to read today is a very fun book. If you've been to my story times, you may have heard this one before. It's called Bedtime at the Swamp. It's kind of got an interesting picture on the cover. Look at that right there. I wonder what that is might have something to do with what this book is about. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some letters up on the board that will spell out something that will tell us what this story is about. So, the first letter is right here. Come on, stay up there. All right, there we go. That is the letter M. The second letter is... Anybody recognize that? That is the letter O. The third letter is the letter N. The fourth letter is an S. The fifth letter is a T. There's only two more to go. The next letter is, anybody recognize that one? It's an E. There's one more, one more letter. The last letter is an R. And we have now just spelled a word with the letters M-O-N-S-T-E-R. And that spells the word monster. <laughs> so that must mean that this book might have something to do with a monster. So it's called Bedtime at the Swamp. It's by Kristen Crow and illustrated by Mackie Peninchon. That is the cover, isn't that fun? Bedtime at the Swamp. Well, let's find out all about this story. The monster, Bedtime at the Swamp. All right. First page. That's kind of a pretty picture, I think. Hmm. I was sitting by a swamp, just a humming a tune with the fireflies dancing neath the fat gold moon. When off in the distance was a splashing sound, so I stood on my tippy toes and I looked all around. And I heard a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba, bim bam boom, a splish, a splash. A rumba rumba bim bam boom. Oh, well, my hands were shaking and my heartbeat raced as I leaped through the marshes and a monster chased. Oh, and it followed behind me in a sludgy slime. It was a rockin' and a swaying the entire time. And it went a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom, a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom. Oh my goodness, look at that monster. Do you think he's scary? The little boy and the dog are running away. So I hid in the branches of a willow tree and I saw my kid sister staring up at me. She said, Ma said to fetch you cause it's time for bed. But sis, there's a monster in the swamp, I said. Look at that. And then we heard a splish. A splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom, a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom. Well, then out crept a shadow from the swampy place. We were scared till we saw our older brother's face. He said, Ma said to fetch you cause it's time for bed. Quick, hi, there's a monster in the swamp, we said. And we heard a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom, a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell here, but do you see the dog in the tree? <laughs> oh dear. Well, we looked for the monster, wondering where he went, till we spied our two cousins that our ma had sent, saying, We came to fetch you, cause it's time for old bed. Watch out, there's a monster in the swamp, we said. We heard a splish. A splash, a rumba rumba bim bam boom, a splish, a splash, a rumba rumba bim 
bam, boom. So we all sat shiver neath the fat gold moon, and the crickets were a chirpin', and the catfish were a slurpin', and the frogs were a croakin', and our feet were a soakin', and the tree was a stoopin', and my eyelids oh, were a droopin'. As we clung to each other, full of dread and fear, I said, hey, do you think we'll spend the night up here? And then we heard a splish, a splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bamboo, a splish, a splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bam, boom. <gasps> ah! Oh no! And out sprang the monster that had made us scared with its big feet a stomping and its sharp teeth bare. I yelled, help, it's the creature from the Black Lagoon. But just when we thought we faced certain doom, we heard a splish, a splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bamboon, a splish, a splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bam, boom. He doesn't look very scary, does he? He actually looks like he's scared. And he is climbing up in the tree too. What does that mean? Then out of the darkness stomped my dear old ma. She burst through the catfish and she cried, Oh, ha! I've been trying to get your children home to bed and I find you a hiding in this tree instead. And then we went crunch, crash, tumble, tumble, split, splat, sploom. Crunch, crash, tumble, tumble, split, splat, sploom. The branch on the tree broke and they all fell out. Well, Ma looked over saying, no one's hurt, but I don't think I've ever seen so much dirt. Now all of you go and get washed up for bed. And that goes for your new playmate too, she said. And he went splish. Splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bam, boom. And we went splish, a splash, a rumba, rumba, bim, bam, boom. And then I went splish, splash in the tub. Rumba, rumba, brushing my teeth. Bim, bam, up the stairs. And boom, into bed I went. came in and turned off the light. Click! And off to bed. And who do you see in the corner of the window? Because I sure do see someone. There's our monster, who wasn't very scary. He wasn't scary at all, for that matter. <laughs> so that is a fun book, isn't it? I love that book. Now, I have a monster that's a friend. He's right here. He is called the Shape Monster. And I have a little story about the shape monster because he is always hungry, 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 and he eats all the time. But there's something very special that he likes to eat. He likes to eat shapes, and that's why I call him the shape monster. So shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a, what is it? It's a yellow triangle. How about a yellow triangle for some lunch? Would you like some? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. He's still hungry though. A shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a, what is it? It's a blue circle. How about a blue circle for your lunch? Would you like a blue circle, shape monster? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a, what do you think this is? It is green and it is in the shape of a rectangle. So how about a green rectangle for your lunch? Would you like a green triangle? It's quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> He's very hungry. Shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a red, what shape is this? What does it remind you of? This is a diamond shape. 
So how about a red diamond for your lunch? It's very sharp, so be careful. Mm, bring it on. <laughs> He's very hungry. <laughs> He's very hungry, but his lunch is almost done because he only has one more thing to eat. A shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a... This one is very dark, it's hard to see. It's black. Can you see it? Oh, there we go, if I hold it. Oh, it's a black square. How about a black square for your lunch? Now this is it, you're done. And then that's it, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Burp. <laughs> oh my, he burped. <laughs> well, Shape Monster has had his lunch. He's very sleepy and it's time for his nap. So away he goes into there for his nap. There are a lot of shapes and sometimes it's hard to know your shapes, but you just have to learn them. And I have a little song that helps to learn some shapes. Some of them are easy, some are easy to get mixed up. So maybe the song can help you with some of your shapes. So here we go, here's our first shape. I bet a lot of you know what this is. It's a circle. A circle's like a ball. A circle's like a ball. Round and round it never stops. A circle's like a ball. I bet you know this one too. What's that? That is a square. A square is like a box. A square is like a box. It has four sides. They are the same. A square is like a box. So the four sides are the exact same, and that makes it a square. But this one could be tricky because it also has four sides, but it looks a little bit different. You see that? That is called a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four sides. Two are long and two are short. A rectangle has four sides. So it has four sides, but two are long, two are short, whereas, remember our square? The square, all four sides are the same. So that's the difference between a square and a triangle. There's one more that sometimes can be kind of tricky to remember. Look at this one. This one is called a triangle, and tri means three, so it has as you can see, it has three sides. So, a triangle has three sides. A triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back, the triangle has three sides. There you go. So with the triangle, you go up the mountain, and you go down, and then you go back. And you've got yourself a triangle. So there you go. That's one way to remember some of your shapes. All right, I hope that you have enjoyed the story today. And I hope you tune in next time. And I miss seeing you all so very much. I can't wait till the day comes that we can see each other in story time again. Bye-bye.